Today we're making the shift ender. Are we done then? Yeah. Is it the end of the shift? We should have made this one last. You like eucalyptus? It's all up in your grill face! Wanna skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schalmer, and I've got with me Ian Andrews. It's like I got a pirate eye. Arr. I get double vision, that's, that's killing us. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna make... The angry pirate. The angry pirate, no, we're gonna make... That's, that's gotta be a cocktail already. Nope, it's a sex... Oh, I was gonna say it's a sex oh, move. But... It is a sex move? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is actually, this is right. it's good. Does that seem in the eyes? That the yeah, see, yeah. Well, yeah. Kick, kick her in the shin, seem in the eyes. She's like, Arr. oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, that's the. I, I thought it was more like a doggy punch, but different. Yep, uh, anyway, a little different. This is called Shift Ender, submitted by Melissa and, and invented by Scott Campbell at Annabelle's Bar and Bistro in San Fran, Francisco. Francisco. So it's got an ounce and a half of Irish Ding. whiskey. We're using Michael Collins because it's been sitting there for a while and. Uh, we just had to change it up. We did! And then it's got a half ounce of Domaine Caton. Domaine Caton! Domaine Caton. Three dashes of orange bears. Where'd you get that shirt? I got this shirt of tails. Yeah. Uh, it's got... Uh, Why didn't uh, I get that shirt of tails? I don't know what's wrong with you. An ounce and a half of ginger you... beer that we're going to top with it, and then we're going to float a half an ounce of Fernet Branca on the top. Garnish with two cherries and a skewer. Is it, is it worn out on purpose? Yeah. It wasn't from you? Nope. I did not do that. I don't... How do I get that shirt? I didn't go to a Domaine Caton. I don't know where I got it, to be honest with you. Uh, probably a domain Keton. Keton. Uh, you Cor know. Courtney may have got that for me. Tasty. I don't remember. So, so much gonna, happens down there. Gonna, I know. I'm going to crack open it's this. It's hard to keep track of it a little. It really is. I'm going to crack open this Dylan's Orange Bitters. Where This is a sample that I got. And it's kind of like um, Vegas. What happens there stays there. Because yes. we can't yeah. remember it. But we can talk about it. <laughs> so if we can remember it. These bitters will be carrying at awesomefix.com. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but... I have to get photos. Do I have photos? I don't even know if I have them done yet. So these are a, a, a bitter from Canada. Hmm. Uh, so Very what, what Antonin can be found. Antonin. They have so many freaking flavors. Um, so many. Ice. That I was like, I can't carry. I can't afford to carry them all yet. So what I typically do in those cases is I carry their top flavors, that the top sellers, and then I'll buy more. During each order, I'll order another thing. Right. Or another thing. And, and sales happen. Yeah. If they never happen, I won't order. Yeah, you don't know what's going to sell. Yet, so so if you want to see new ones, you're going to buy. They're very hard. Mm. These are tasty. They are a little bit bitter. Um, Which is good because they're bitter. bitters. Yeah, but they're not as bitter as I would. These are not... Like, when we did the orange bitter tasting, some of those were pretty aggressively bitter. Yeah. This one doesn't have the, the, the same aggression. It tastes... It's got a fleshy... It's boring. Zesty. Yeah. yeah. It's good. So there you go. Peter Griffin. Uh, Batch 6, 50% ABV, 100 ml. Let's see. Base. Local Niagara wine grape. Oh, that's different. You just did these so that you could uh, open my... the ginger beer. I did. No, no, I, he had his clever little, like that. A little yeah. bit. I, well, I figured it's such a big bottle from Q that I would make more than one because it'll sit in the refrigerator and I will definitely drink it. But it takes a while for me to drink that much. Um, oh, oh, let's see. Botanicals and local fruit. That's nice. Thanks for that, people, for sending this long. Hey! Oh. It, that'll last us a while. We've used it twice. We oh. used it last week, too. What are you doing? You this thing go. is chipping. My, my, uh... We, we can drink paint shaker shippers. Yeah, it's not dangerous. dangerous. It's just no. It's just the edge work on yeah. the on the. That's that's the downfall of powder shakers. Um, this does float right up top, doesn't it? Sugar, orange. Yeah, peel, but the problem with that is you're gonna get spices. a whole mouthful of Fernet. Well, well, it says float. float. Straw. Just no, put a tiny straw saying. in there. You're saying the drink. Saying. The drink that's is it, inherently why, flawed. What the fuck? Why did that float so well? I'm guessing it has to do with specific gravities. <laughs> you can probably watch hey, our specific gravity show. Wasn't there a video on that? You know what's funny? Somebody on Reddit just posted today saying, "Hey, I made a what a B52, and my stuff didn't float like like the what? We probably need another cherry. You think? Yeah, because there's only one in here. There's only one. I'm so good. we're gonna express our lemon. Here, you do you need so. cherries at home? Sure. These are all damaged, so yeah, I'll take damaged cherries. <laughs> Damaged, damaged, uh, damaged or jot, damaged cherries. Uh, See, in my mind, cherries don't need to be well, they don't. untouched. The, the thing is, these cherries work <laughs> regardless. Damaged, damaged. Oh, yeah, you don't want to damage my cherry. Uh, these work even if you don't, uh, like if they are 
leaking because they're there's so much sugar in them. But I can't sell myself? them with big ass damage marks on there. What? Did you stab yourself? No. Why are you your hands black? I think it's your What? This. I don't know what's on it. <laughs> plastic. Oh, your plastic's leaking. What are you your doing? Plastic is leaking. <laughs> your plastic doesn't leak. <laughs> I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to say. It's the only black thing I've touched. <laughs> I don't buy that. Okay. I couldn't find the bamboo, so I went with that. Um, what? So anyway, Reddit. Somebody I said I made a baby fifty two. Things weren't floating. Everybody's like, you got to look at what your product is. They weren't using Grand Marnier. They're using something else. I'm like, I don't understand. So I posted up. Said, Hey, check out this video. It has to do with science. I think I started that way, and I said, if you want to know more about specific gravity, and I linked it in, I'm like, yeah, you can watch us do it. That's awesome. Maybe somebody will watch it. I'm oh. waiting for comments. I got two plus ones, but that's it. Hey, plus ones are better than no plus ones. That's true. You want to drink this? Yeah, I do. You, you're going to wash your hands? I, I want to bask in the glory of how this looks, because the... Uh... Shit, so Mark! Mark! I, I think it's really cool the way the frenette is look at uh, floating. It like does look like a cool drink. It does. I and the, give it that. The... Uh, the cherry juice is the just cherry juice is spidering heavy. down yeah. there. It's like, hello, I'm cherry juice. What are you doing? It's like tar. What hello, how are Black you? Black tar. Hello, how, how are, are you? I don't get what you're talking about. You must have touched something else. There's definitely, you know what, there's cherry juice on there, but I think whatever that black thing is came from you. No, <laughs> it, okay. <laughs> maybe it's the Fernet. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if Fernet stains you. Apparently, no. maybe. Here. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely scarred. Show me, I'm this. Should I drink alcohol and make it all go away? <laughs> um, I, I don't care the what you The thing I do like about these is they have little hooks on there that sit on the side of the glass. Yeah, I used to sell my Austin drinks. You used to? Yeah, they take forever to sell, so I just decided not to. Hmm. You can also put it off outside if you if it's an optional garnish. Wouldn't do that with cherries, because oh, they'll yeah. drip everywhere. <laughs> but like if it was uh, cucumbers, oh, yeah. um, things that... That is gingery. Outside. Gingery. Jennifer's gonna like this drink. Gingera. Gingery. Gingera. Gingera. You think it's more gingery than the last drink? No. No? Was that I enough? just dipped my straw in as I was sucking up, so I got a little I, bit of fernet. I still get the fernet even at the bottom. I like the fernet. I like the fernet. The fernet is There's really definitely good. a. Did you just take that back? Yeah. Um, there's definitely a little. Um, I still have something sticky up my hands. No. I, I am, I am, I'm gonna change my mind. There is a lot. Of eucalyptus in this drink. Yes. Uh, that could Heavy be eucalyptus. a major turn off for people who don't like eucalyptus. Cause, yeah. Or don't like fernet in general. But if you like fernet, then That's this fine. could be a great drink. Yeah, it, it's if amazing how curd. pronounced... If curd. Oh, curd would love this drink. Yeah. It's amazing how pronounced that is on top of the ginger. <clears throat> the uh, the fernet, yeah, the fernet is a really cool flavor, I think. And I think it goes well with the ginger. It, yeah, it, it's not a, it's, it is kind of a, con not a conflict of pick. I don't know if I'd say balanced, no, but it's like, it's different. they're both two strong flavors that don't fight against each other as much as you think they right. might. It, you would think that it would be a struggle, but it's like one and, I mean, both together complement each other, even though they're com drastically different. It's like, like one is an aperitif bitter with yeah. eucalyptus, the other is a striking hot ginger. Mm. How's that happen? No, we have Domaine Canton. No, we have Domaine Canton. I don't know if that's, um, it's not as, I don't really know. I'm sure it plays a part in here. There's probably some mm, added sweetness. Maybe. But I don't get a lot of it. I don't get a lot of any... I don't know what I get out of that. I, I don't get Irish whiskey. I get... The eucalyptus lingers. Ginger though. and a lingering eucalyptus that just stretches on for miles. Oh, like miles. So many miles. Like seven... It's like highway big one with miles on it. Like... Route 66? Like, Route 66 is what I was trying like to Like I can see for miles and miles. <laughs> is that the police? I can see from my... I thought it was the Who for some reason. I'm going to go with you yeah. on that. I'm going to follow yeah. you and subscribe to that. Okay. Like, He's click, going right. to like. swipe right. <laughs> swipe right. Hey, Everybody you know what? Swipe right. If swipe you guys... And this is a... this. If you haven't seen the new... Have you seen the, uh, the Late Show with Stephen Colbert? Didn't he do a tie-in with Jimmy Fallon? Which was pretty cool. Yeah, he, he did. did. I, th I think that's great because there's always been a conflict between The Night yeah. Show and The Late Show. Stop that. And just I, like, I think it would be cool if they had a symbiosis going on. That would be kind of neat. Well, he, he called him out at the beginning. He's like, I'll see you in the locker room. And then at the very end after it fades, there's a locker room. Like, there, he's closing his locker. And he's like, night, Jimmy. And then he turns around and Jimmy's got his stuff going to the locker room like there's like this one major locker room. Exactly. It's a locker room yeah. for all the night. Yeah, like the night <laughs> guys are so on our own room. Um, it's pretty cool. It, but they're, it's both, like, they're both really entertaining and yeah. I, I'm not 
I, I like Jimmy Fallon, obviously. I like Stephen Colbert too. Though. I never watched Jimmy Fallon's show, but I like. I used to like. Well, I used to watch him on Dignation when he'd be on there as a guest, but I never he, watched. He's not Dignation. Show. But it's like Colbert, but it's an hour long, so you get the Colbert Report followed by the interviews. So which it's, is cool. It's like it's a perfect. <laughs> me- it's like, and the thing is, he took half of his staff with him, so that it kind of makes sense. He's got. Yeah. He's got, John Stewart's an executive producer. Nice. Like, and no wonder he retired. He has like the Late yeah. Show to do now. He's it's busy. pretty uh, badass. Uh, what number drink is this? No, this, is, what, this is Friday. 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 Oh, okay. We skipped Tuesday though. Yeah, we did. We skipped Tuesday. Well, no, Wednesday. Wednesday. Drink. We, we, we had, I had a pina colada to create that a non-blended pina colada, but I didn't have pina, so I didn't. Yeah. No. You had plenty of colada. Right. I, there was no pina. So we'll do the next week. Yeah. Um, so there's one left. Now, if you want wine old-fashioned glasses, if you want these when they're back in stock, if you, you want, want Dylan's when I get them on the website, you want shakers and strainers and OXO measuring utensils, then you should go to awesomedrinks.com. And while you're there, when you're checking out, you put in coupon code CMCWSKY. It's CMC Whiskey. Why would you do that? Because you save 15% until October 9th, 2015. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Because it's... It's National, National Bourbon Month. It's National Bourbon Month. We're not using bourbon, but you get oh, whatever. CMC Whiskey. That's why the code is CMC WSKY. Right. CMC Whiskey. I don't want to um, get too long. And while you're pulling up the names, I will say you can go to everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter. Pull up the names. You know the Google Sheet names? <laughs> he really means pull up yeah, the names. Yeah, like, you're actually being you, you That wasn't to, a euphemism or anything. <laughs> no. I thought you, you, meant, you can go to cmc.com. I thought you were euphemizing. Or everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter to sign up for the newsletter which is filled with awesome stuff every time it comes out it's really well done and you can submit your recipes at recipe at everydaydrinkers.com and eventually I'm we'll, there. we'll get to it <laughs> so now that Derek's there we're going to start our shout outs for the people who filled out our survey that was up uh, six shout outs was a couple it, weeks uh, ago August 13th if I just say a couple through. weeks I don't know yeah. if that's right or not but it, it was up on August 13th and we closed out at the end of the month so a couple weeks um, so so Ronan is that right it sounds like a name of a, a ninja. It is. A samurai. Uh, Ronan. Oh. Keithley. 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 Keith. Keith. Ellis first. Kilthy. Okay. Kilthy, right? Yeah, that's your shout out. I oh, Singapore. Guys. From Singapore. That makes more sense, Ronan yeah. from Singapore. Thank you for watching the show from a, a country that's so far away that I don't even understand. <laughs> I say your last name. Uh, Daniel from Texas. Thank you very much for watching and submitting the survey as well. Daniel, thank you for having a simple name too. Yes. Uh, Robert Grime. That's also easy from Suffolk, UK. Yeah. Uh, Jerry oh. Stroop from Ohio, United States. Stroop. The Ohio, United States. <laughs> we had an Ohio person. <laughs> we had a lot of Ohioans. <laughs> Ohioans? Ohio. Ohioan. I'm gonna. Oh, it's a weird one. It sounds like a, it sounds like an Indian tribe. Uh, Ohioans. Uh, T.J. Farewell from Texas. We have a lot of people from Texas too. Yeah, we do. Farewell. That sounds like farewell. <laughs> when you, when, oh, farewell. So I get I get this good one. We got. <laughs> it's from th- three Dal Stamnes from Rogaland, Norway. Nice. We have, have we done? Eight, well, oh, we've only had like three from the U.S. so far. I know. We, <laughs> like we had a lot of everybody's. Everybody's from another country. It's great. We love the fact. I love the fact that viewers are so geographically dispersed. I love the I fact. Think it's really cool that our demographic is like ninety percent U.S. and all the people that interact with us are. It's like ninety percent non-U.S. <laughs> like all the lurkers, yeah. you guys that don't like do anything like with the show in terms of like submitting stuff. Talking stuff. I don't know. I guess you're chat. No, no, your chat room. People is comment in chat room. Yeah. Yeah, the chat room's U.S. because we're on a time zone problem. Like, yes. if you could be in an infinite time I don't know, zone. There's some Australian people that show up. Yeah, but there it's because they're eating breakfast. Yeah. Like, there's there is that. Um, I'm guessing Derek, the man with no name. There's your shout out. You didn't fill out the survey because he was asking for another survey. He did so not. Derek didn't fill out the survey. You asshole. Oh, now you have two shout outs for doing something bad. Der- Derek, where are you from? We'll get it in. <laughs> Derek from Derek Derek the guy that doesn't submit anything no that name. has to do with our survey. Uh, wait, d- don't worry, where, Derek. At this point, he'd be st- no, significantly wait statistically, statistically insignificant. insignificant. Um, and those are our shouts. So we did that. We got our shouts. We got our, our our coupon codes. We got our recipe at Everyday Drinkers, right? And we got another recipe to make. So stay tuned. So we're gonna do that. Which is your drink? There's still some in here. There was. It's snowing! The cleanup is lime, but it's poured everywhere. Did that just make me choke from the from the ginger?